Hi, I'm Jody with Wellspring Solutions, and I am here at the Creative Aging Network. We're so delighted to be able to partner with them during our Thrive program and offer self-care activities like painting classes with a teaching artist. It's so important for caregivers and their loved ones to have access to relaxation and fun and creative expression. So we hope you enjoy this experience. And if you would like to learn more about opportunities for you to thrive, please check out our website. Hi everyone, Ayana Parker here with the Creative Aging Network. Today we are going to be creating mixed media collages. I'm excited to be working with you all today. Let's get started. Okay, so everyone has received a um, art kit right here from the Creative Aging Network. So let's just go through and see what we have. So as I said before, we are creating uh, mixed media collages and we have a canvas here. Everyone has their own, own magazine. Uh, you either have um, Mod Podge, which is an adhesive and glue, or you also have tacky glue in your bag as well. I took the liberty of cutting different images for everyone out and placing them inside of a little baggie. So everyone has a baggie full of uh, different types of textured paper, different images of different people. And most importantly, it has affirmations. So here's one right here. And I can hold it up. So I printed off at least three affirmations for everyone because the focus around this collage is positivity and affirmations, things that um, inspire us and bring us joy and help us get through. So you each have at least three affirmations. And I'll read some that I have here as well. This one says, I am grateful for every day. Another one says, I have the time to cherish the people who matter to me. And another one that I like says, I love myself, I love my age, and I love my life. And all of these affirmations are about um, bringing positive, positivity to ourselves and our life. Okay? And in your baggie, keep going through it, we also have three containers of paint. So we are using the three primary colors, which, is, which are yellow, red, and blue. And lastly, we have scissors to cut and various size paint brushes. So these two brushes are going to be used, these two tiny brushes are going to be used to paint, and this little brush right here is our glue brush. So this is the brush we will use to apply glue to our um, collage. I also have water in front of me and something to put my paint on. I'm using this plastic tray, a styrofoam tray. You could use a plate or a piece of paper. So the first thing we'll do is work on the background of the canvas and I'm going to be using the paint first. So it'll take the longest to dry. So you want to mix uh, colors that you may need and we have all the primary colors so red and yellow will make orange, blue and red will make purple and yellow and blue will make green. So first you want to put your paint on a palette and I am going to mix the color green because that is one of my favorite colors. So to get green, I mix yellow and blue.
All right, and using my favorite color, I'm just going to paint various shapes in the background, uh, maybe a circle to get a nice pop of color. I could even change the paintbrush and use a smaller brush. And paint tiny dots in the corner here. And it's just to fill up the canvas with things I like, things that make me happy. I love the color green. And it's all about layers too when we're creating uh, a, anything, a painting, collage, it's always about layers. So at this point you can paint different shapes. You could be painting triangles, spots, anything with this color. And you can exchange, interchange colors. Um, you can use red or blue. So I may want to use another color next. I also have paper towels here. Uh, they're good for in between when you're cleaning your brushes. Or when you make a little mess. Okay. I think I'm going to use yellow next for my painting or my uh, collage. So maybe paint a line of yellow here. And there's no set way I'm doing anything. I just like these colors and I just want them together on my canvas. Uh, yellow reminds me of sunflowers and sunshine. I love the summertime. I was uh, born in August, so all about the summer. And things that are bright and make me happy. And this color brings me joy. And this is acrylic paint, um, which means that if you do mess up, you can always paint over it. I think I'll stop it down here. So as we create the background or base of the collage, while the paint dries, we'll take some time and go through our magazines and pick images that remind us of ourselves or that bring us joy as well. Things that we like to do, maybe our favorite foods or animals. Something that represents us as well. Okay. And it's good to have the background first because it's easier to layer your pictures on top versus um, 
putting your images down first and then paint and glue getting on them and it getting uh, ruined or ripped apart. A little bit of sunshine for my painting. Okay. So as I said before, as the base of your collage dries, you can take this time to go over what we have in our baggies and what we have in our magazines. So inside your bag, as I said before, we have different kinds of paper and images. So everyone has scrap paper, like so. And they're all printed. Some may have flowers or patterns. Some could be shiny or dull. If you turn it over. And then some is also textured. So this paper I have here has a little bit of texture to it. It has holes in it as well. So this paper here is also textured. So you just take your time and go through your bag and see what you like, what sticks out to you, what represents you or something that you like. And we also have uh, different tissue paper. The tissue paper can be crumbled up and stuck in places as well. So our magazines, when I look through my magazine, you might not want the images I picked for you, which is completely fine. Um, when you look through your magazine, I like to look for things, like I said, that make me happy. This is a positive uh, collage we're making, things that represent us. So for instance, uh, this cat looks just like my cat at home. So you can either take your scissors and you know, cut straight through the paper, like so. Or what I like to do when I create collages is I like to rip the paper because I like the way the edges look. So you can just take your time and hold it with one hand and rip with the other. So I'm just holding this down. And I like this cat picture because it looks exactly like the cat I have at home. Uh, my cat makes me happy. I love her. So I think this is a positive image that I can keep. Also, you can find things that fit your favorite quote that you have. So this quote says, I have time to cherish the people who matter to me. So you can find an image of a family sitting together at the table or um, friends, you can love your friends or even animals. Or for this one, for example, that says, I love myself, I love my age, and I love my life. You can find images of people who look similar to you. So here's a picture of a family. That would go great with this quote that says, I have time to cherish the people who matter to me. So you might want to rip that page out as well. And just sit it to the side. As far as other things, so you could like jewelry and rip out a picture of an image of jewelry. Um, your favorite color may be in a book, your favorite word. Um, let's see. So normally we would take about uh, 15 minutes to look through and see what we have. And just take your time and see. Mm. Oh, 
look at these words. It says the happiest. So I could use that right there. And you can also uh, rip your page out and just put your non-dominant hands on the side you don't need to hold it down. Rip the page. But we also have these nice scissors in our bag and we can cut out things that we like. So this says the happiest. I like these colors. I think they look great. I love the color pink and green, as I said before, and there goes that yellow. And you won't find things right away. It takes time, of course. <laughs> it's a lot of cat pictures. Hmm. Oh, see, look, there's some yummy food. You can put your favorite food in there. I like the light that's coming off this picture. So I'd rip that out and I'll just cut this piece out to save. So this, again, this collage is all about things that bring you joy, things that make you happy. It's affirming. Uh, ooh, some ice cream right there. <laughs> so if you like ice cream, you can put that in there. Some puppies. Let's see. If you like bacon, you can have a little bacon in there. So everyone's magazine, of course, is different. Some have home magazines and life and time magazine. Oh, so I actually like doing crosswords, so I think I'll rip that out as well. It's a game I like to play. Okay. So once I have all the images I like, and that bring me joy or remind me of myself. So I have a cat that reminds me of my cat at home who makes me the happiest. I have this image here of this light. It looks like a LED light and it's red. And I like that color. It's a nice pop of color. Hmm. For this one, I'm gonna take out this um, crossword. And I think I'll rip it because I like the way rip paper looks on collage. But we all have lovely scissors and we can use our scissors. So I love this crossword. And I think the quote that I'm going to use is, I am grateful for every day. So that is the quote I'm going to use for the affirmation I'm going to use for my collage. And I'll set that aside. When you're making collages, things can get a little messy. But just as long as you have a nice pile of things that you're using and not using, you'll be fine. Okay, so I'll put these affirmations to the side. And you can add more to your... Um, Collage, you can have more than one affirmation. If you identify with all of them, then please put them all on your collage. That would be nice to have multiple affirmations. Okay. I picked this picture out um, prior to, so this is one of the pictures that came from the bag that we got. So they came out of your little plastic baggie. I think it's cabbage and it looks purple, so I thought it was a pretty image. And for the items I have, I'm going to use some collage paper. So I already have yellow in there. I don't want to keep using yellow, maybe a different color. So here's some orange and purple. And this purple matches my cabbage leaf. And when you're making a collage, it's all about um, 
kind of setting it up first, then doing the work after. So you want to stage it how you want it. So I like this here. I am the happiest. I'm grateful for every day. I have my cat here looking up. So hmm, what could she be looking up at? You also want the image to kind of tie together as well. So I could find something for her to be looking up at. I can find an image of a person that reminds me of myself. It's like she's looking up to me. <laughs> um, let's see what I have. Oh, I like her outfit. So she, I most identify with her. She looks closest to me in age and I like her clothing. So it could be like me and my cat because <laughs> that's my family. And we can put some colors that I like as well, different texture. So once you have all the uh, items you like, you can just begin sticking it um, on your paper. I'm going to move all these items to the side that I don't want to use, just so you can see and I can see what we are, what we're doing. Okay. So I'm going to keep all of this. And the first thing I want to do is continue to work on the background. So I don't want to use my pictures next. I want to use maybe some texture paper, like so. And this paper I have is nice because of the holes. You can see the color on the green and the yellow. I would like to put this up here. So I will go ahead and start using my glue. And if you have Mod Podge, what you could do is on the same palette that you're using your paint, you can use the other side for glue. Or you can also take that paintbrush that you have in your bag. Okay, you can take that green or red paintbrush that came in your bag, and it's pretty cheap because the bristles are different. You can fill them and know which one is better to paint with and which one is better for glue. So this is definitely a glue brush. And you can take the top off of your Mod Podge and just stick your paintbrush inside. Or you can pour out the glue and do it that way. It's different ways to do it. So I like to put a little bit of water on my brush first so it can spread the Mod Podge. And this is the general area I want this piece of scrap paper to go. So just put it on top. And then you want to take the Mod Podge and go over it as well. And that seals it in and you know for sure it won't go anywhere. Same thing with tacky glue. If you have tacky glue in your bag, you can unscrew the top, put your paintbrush in and apply it that way. Or pour it out. Um, this is the less messier way in my opinion. And this paper I have here is pretty textured, so I don't want to press too hard on it because it may start to unravel and come apart. But I also want to make sure I have enough coverage on it. Okay. 
And you will see the glue right now, but when it dries, you won't see it. It'll uh, go away. So as I said before, I'm going to continue doing the background or the base of the collage. And I said I like this picture of this person here. So I think that it's a good spot for them. Right there. Um, I would like to add more color. So I have some textured paper here. I think I'm going to take some of this um, paper here, tissue paper, and kind of ball it up. So I'm flipping it over. This is the printed side. And this is the side that is dull and you can't really see the print. And I'm just going to pinch the inside of it. And just crumbles it up. But it gives it a little bit of texture. And it would all it would also add an extra, an extra layer to your collage at the end. So I think that I'll save this at the end. And I like to rip my paper, as I said before. I like the way it looks. Okay, so I think I'll put this in this corner over here. Same thing I did before. Glue goes down first, then glue goes on top. And I have a little water on my paintbrush to help spread it evenly. Collaging and painting, most arts are always about layering. The more layers you add, the better the artwork will look. Okay, so this is also tissue paper, which is cool because it gave it a nice little texture too. Hmm, actually like that. So I think I'm going to keep uh, piling this on top of each other down here. And there's no set way to do it. Your collage is not is not supposed to look exactly like mine. We don't have the same images. We don't have the same paper. Everyone has different items in their um, art kit. And that's the beauty of it. Everyone will make different outcomes. Have different outcomes. I'm still in the edges, tissue paper. Okay. I want to have room for my cat, so I think I may um, make this picture a little smaller. <laughs> okay. And it's kind of like doing a puzzle. You see where things fit that you want them to go, or where you want them to go. I think I'll add more texture paper here. And to me, it's all about using all of my materials and filling up my canvas. Oops. 
I am going to put this picture of this person down. I want to put, um, since this is a picture, I want to put the Mod Podge down first. Mod Podge down first. Or Tacky Goo down first. And I'm just doing the general outline how big I think this picture is. I don't want to put the glue on the picture first. That is another way to do it. However, I think that gets messy sometimes. Okay, so she's already on there. And then I'm going to go around and do the edges of the picture. isn't uh, set in stone yet. I just put it up there. So I can add a picture of the cat here. And I have all these pictures here that I liked. And as I said before, I was just like ripping um, the edges. It just looks cohesive. So if this one is ripped and that one is ripped, it kind of all ties in together. But it is up to the artist. The maker. Hmm. So another layer here, maybe. So I have this pretty image of these uh, cabbage is what I think it is. I'm just going to rip those edges again. I'm mm. about to have that glued down. So there's no uh, set way for things to go, as I said before. It's kind of like a, you're doing a puzzle. You just want to see where things fit for you. It's paint all on this picture, so I'm going to leave it right there. That way my cat fits. <laughs> okay. And you probably will not end up using every single piece of paper that came into your um, bag. It's just a, a variety so you can have a, um, different things to choose from in case what you saw in your magazine didn't fit you. But it's really about taking your time and actually sitting down looking through your magazine first, which is what I like to do. Um, if I know I'm going to make a collage or create something, I want to get the images down first. Hmm, so I'm going to put the happiest right here at the top. 
Let's rip it. <laughs> so I think I'll do it right here, on top. So now I generally want it right here. I'll add some glue. It's okay if the paint is runny. It's going to go right on top of it. Off this brush. And, oh, <laughs> and I'm going to do the edges, the out, outer. And here I want to be careful because I don't want it to, now I don't want the paint to run. So it's just glue on my brush, no water. I'm not really spreading it, I'm just tapping the edge. And the outer. It's gonna come off. It's fine, because I know what it says. On this side too. Probably just wrap that around. Okay. <laughs> Probably should have wrapped that one around too. If you come into that same problem, just wrap it to the back. Okay, so I'm actually going to use my scissors now to cut out my affirmation. And the affirmation I chose is I am grateful for every day. And I very much am. I think I'll put that down here near her. So that's my affirmation. Um, you can add more prints and color to your collage. Let's see. Hmm. I kind of have the same theme of colors here. I see what my favorite colors are. <laughs> um, so this paper here I have is different texture. It's orange. And I just want to add more texture to my paper. I'm just going to take it and maybe cut it into um, squares or triangles. So maybe three or four squares or triangles. One, two, three. Okay, so that adds more color and texture. I did not glue this little kitty down yet, so let's go ahead and put the cat on the paper. Okay. I'm going to do glue first and just a small amount in the general area I know where I'm going to put the cat. Okay. So he's secure now and then I'm just going to go around and Secure the ends of the picture. <clears throat> so now I'm going to go in and do the same thing with this textured paper. I have here. I put it down on the bottom, then I uh, put it over the top as well. 
I don't want it to come off. I want it to last for a very long time so I can hang it up in my room and see those positive affirmations when I walk by. Put the glue down first. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to make it go all the way to the top so it again looks cohesive using those nice scissors I have. I'm just cutting a couple more. I didn't measure anything. Um, I think it looks, I think collages look better when you aren't um, measuring and you're just having fun with it. Just doing what you feel. That way there's some contrast with that purple and orange. And I think I want to put like a flower or something in her hand. So what I'm going to do is, hmm, there's so much, we can keep going forever. <laughs> I'm going to put down this affirmation first, right here at the bottom. It says I'm grateful for every day. And this paper is kind of thin, it's just printed paper. So uh, be a little careful, just maybe one line of glue, no water. It's not super thick paper. And I kind of did mine slanted because at the top I slanted the words, but it's up to you. And as you go over your uh, images, you might see that some things may start to come up. And it's okay to just add more Mod Podge or Tacky Glue. It's probably because you keep adding things on top and we keep um, unraveling things. And it hasn't had much time to dry completely yet before we put new things on top of it. So just go back and add more Mod Podge. It'll dry and look great. Okay, so this is my image so far. Oh no, I forgot about this. So I do want to use this because I love um, crosswords. I actually think I'm going to use my scissors and just cut out a little piece of the crossword. It's a nice little pattern. Actually, I think I am happy with what I have. I will add more um, texture. I did want to do this tissue paper here. So what I did was it was flat like this. And I took it from the middle. And I'm just going to grab it up with my hands. Like so, and then kind of pinch it together at the bottom. It may not look like the prettiest flower, but it looks like, I think it's a flower to me. Also, it doesn't have to be anything. I just like more texture to my paper. So I'm going to take this, and it kind of looks like she's holding something in her hand. And just add a nice amount of Mod Podge. 
how you feel your hand is and yeah, we're good. I'm just folding it up in the middle and sticking it down. And you may have a hard time staying down. Um, you just want to add Mod Podge underneath. So here is my finished collage, and I just have a bunch of textures and things that make me happy. So I said before, you can keep adding more images. I have purple cabbage. I love the color purple. It's a pretty image. I love the texture and the flowers in this um, paper here, and the texture in this paper as well. Kind of looks um, almost like tie dye. And there's a cat that looks exactly like my cat here. I said I'm grateful for every day, which was the uh, affirmation I like. I also think I might add another one that says I have time to cherish the people who matter to me as well. And that could go, I think I might cut this one too. That could go anywhere. You can have as many affirmations as you want. You can also write your own. Um, I actually created a collage before this one. That says, I am confident and I deserve respect. And I filled it with various women from different ages and backgrounds. And I wrote my own um, affirmation. So if you would like to write your own on your affirmation that you have, you can just flip it over and take a pen or a marker and write something that means something to you. These are just ideas that I had. So it's up to you. This is something that's going to be in your room and that gives you inspiration. Everybody draws inspiration from different things. I think I'll put it down here. Yeah, I like it there. So Mod Podge. I didn't put any glue on this time. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't put any water on here this time because the paper, as I said before, is pretty thin that has the um, affirmations on it. So that's really why I added it last because I didn't want to keep putting too much glue or anything on it. I didn't want the paper to rip. All right, so there is my final product. You can see, and then I can kind of hold it up. It shouldn't fall. Okay. Well, I do hope you enjoy creating this with us today. Again, my name is Ayana, and I'm here with the Creative Aging Network. Um, I look forward to seeing you all again. Thank you. Thank you again so much for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed the experience and you enjoyed painting together. And again, please visit our website for information on more opportunities for self-care activities.